But if, if Hal isn't ready... No, no, it's important for him to have a taste of reality in a safe, structured environment. But if bringing him up to speed is... It's just what the doctor ordered, Margo. Really, we'll see how he does, Hal will see how he does, and we'll take it from there. Okay? All right, but uh, look, I don't know no, if it's... now, everything's gonna be fine, I'll be right outside. <sighs> okay. You know, man, I'm going to check myself in here. They've got room. Oh. <laughs> so, what's going on? Dr. Michael said you had news? Yeah. We've got Weston. And he's going to perform a procedure to reverse the treatment. He's working on Carly now. Good. And Emily? We have got police from three different countries coordinating a search. So nothing. Oh, come on, Hal. We'll find her. Weston wouldn't give her up. Uh, Weston doesn't even know where she is. Now, why don't I believe that? Yeah, I know. I found it pretty hard to believe myself. But Jack conducted his own private interrogation. Uh, you know, it's pretty safe to say that Weston has told us everything that he knows. Come on, Hal. We'll find Emily. We never should have lost her, Margo. If I hadn't gone upstairs, if I'd stayed and talked to her, I should have known how shook up she was, Tom suing her for custody. Look, this is James Stenbeck doing this. He fooled all of us. But that's my job, Margo. I am paid to be smarter than the bad guys. I drop my guard. Look how many people got hurt. This is Stenbeck's doing, But on my yours. watch, Margo, on my watch, Carly. Rose, look what happened to the M, and Emily's still in that hell, if we're lucky. Look, we will find Emily, and when we do, she'll get the treatment that she... If we find her, and if she's still alive. Oh, I lost her, and I have nobody to blame but myself. Interpol has conducted a search of the spa, of the grounds. No, Emily. They, they even sent patrols up through the mountains. No, Emily. They, they dug up that graveyard. There's no Emily, no body. She's still alive. Then why hasn't she made contact? <sighs> Don't you think it's a pretty safe bet that Stenbeck has her stashed someplace? No, look at the, the way he's played the game so far. He gave his Carly in exchange for Barbara. Don't you think that he's probably holding on to Emily? So he can trade her, too. Exactly, knowing that you would do anything to get her back. She is his ace in the hole. You know, you're right. I'd forgotten how to think like a cop, and please watch the card reference. <laughs> you see, there you are. I knew you were there under that mountain of guilt. So what's the word on Barbara and Stenbeck? Oh, come on, Margo, if you're serious about wanting me back behind my desk. We have a report that they have entered Thailand with fake passports. We haven't confirmed it as yet. You've got people at all the airports? I've got people at bus stations, train stations, rickshaw stations. We'll find him. We'll bring him in. It's a matter of time. A matter of time. Meanwhile, Will and Daniel have lost their mothers. I'm in a psych ward. Rose and Carly are hospitalized. And Stenbeck is in some rice paddy counting his money. It doesn't seem fair Come somehow. On. It doesn't seem Hell, quite right. please. Come on. You know what, Margo? As long as there's breath in my body, I'm coming after him. He won't get away. As long as I can do it, I'm gonna get him. All right, there you are. So, what else is going on? The Scudder case. Uh, that case is closed. Uh, Mary Manahan killed Nick Scudder. We have a witness who verified that. Oh, well. So Abigail's off the hook. That must be a big relief. It's a big relief to all of them. Yeah, it is. But... I'm gonna fill you in on this later, okay, buddy? Come on, Margo. Stop treating me like a mental patient and tell me what happened. It's not Adam, is it? No, 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 Adam. He's fine, Adam. Well, then, come on. Tell me what happened. Jake McKinnon died. He took a bullet at point-blank range, trying to save Molly from Mary Menahan. Menahan fell from the roof, DOA.
Jake's dead? I'm sorry, Hal. I'm sorry. Should have told you. Should have told you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I never should have told you. I, I, I'm sorry. I told him about Jake McKinnon. I'm sorry. Oh, don't be. Don't be. There was a time when Hal couldn't feel anything. At least now he's having a normal reaction no. to the death of someone he knew for a long time. Oh, Hal. I'm sorry you got such bad news. <sighs> Margo, you're probably soaked. Oh, that I, I'll try. <sighs> How's Molly? Just taking it an hour at a time. Oh, see, this is the thing. You get up and something just smacks you right back down Don't again. Don't be discouraged, it... Hal. This is grief. It's real <sighs> and it's normal. And once you get through it, don't be surprised if you feel a lot stronger than you have in a long time. <laughs> Please, uh, do me a favor. You tell Abigail and, and Molly how very, very sorry I am. Of course I will. I will. And, um, I'll come back and see you again in a couple of days, huh? And you let me know the second that you hear anything about Emily. 